In our project community, a local man is continuing his dialogue about race. He has made it his mission to meet with strangers and talk about race relations in America. KOCO's Paris Jones caught up with the man we first met back in June. Since the last time we sat down with Frederick Montgomery, he says he's met with close to 30 people over coffee, continuing those discussions about race. The conversation has been absolutely amazing. Not only amazing, but to the point that I've it felt like I've dug in people's souls. He's been at it for months now. What, what keeps you doing it? Why do you keep doing it? Because the love of people, man. Frederick Montgomery has become sort of a regular at some of the coffee shops in the metro, finding and talking to strangers about race relations in America. So when you guys see this sign, what does that mean to you? I feel honored that you would like want to have a conversation with us. Oh my God. Yeah. Not a crybaby, but <laughs> my chest has got tight. Frederick tells me since our story aired in June, all sorts of people from around the world have reached out to him. I think I got a couple of uh, invites to Europe and Australia to come have coffee. <laughs> and it just it just touched my heart that he will reach that far. But he says during his journey, some conversations stood out. There's been one situation with an older gentleman uh, in his mid 60s was confused about why can't he not say the N-word? And he says he's in his in his town, he says it all the time. And I, I tried to explain it from my perspective. And I was very respectful explaining it. But you know, people are stuck the way they was raised. He tells me there were other discussions he'll never forget. People opening their hearts and minds, sharing real pain. There was a kid who was mixed and he just he was hurting from both sides of the family the white side, the black side, and he felt rejected on both sides. That was another older man that we really didn't talk that much. He bought me coffee and he just said, I just want to tell you I'm sorry. And he just kept saying he's sorry. And I don't know why he kept saying he's sorry. Maybe he felt bad that he saw things growing up from the Jim Crow, uh, from uh, the segregation, who knows? but I could feel this pain when he said he was sorry. Frederick tells me he's learned so much along the way and he plans to keep at it as long as he can, touching lives and being part of the change he wants to see for the country. Everything historically that happened in America happened with everybody involved. It's always been a collective effort of all cultures. So if we can just get that part together, and America's gonna go to another level. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.